what is Piper? This is how Piper comes. Actually, right from the beginning, you open the box and uh, the gears spin. Nice. And the kids, they get really excited. It's like, wow, how does that work? It's sort of magical. You open the box and you realize, wow, it's actually just a visual illusion. And that's what Piper's all about. It's about teaching kids about fundamentals through a fun, engaging way. You get all the parts you need to build a fully working computer. You got a screen, you got the wooden components, a battery, Raspberry Pi speaker, a mouse. You got all the hinges and screws. And for most kids, this is their first time actually using a screwdriver. They're so used to the touch screen and iPads. And how you build it is you actually use this blueprint. This is a full life-size blueprint. Kids as young as seven can build their own computer. It takes about one or two hours. And they follow the instructions. And, you know, for most adults, it seems intimidating. For kids, they, they love it. They just dive right in and they do it. And then once they've assembled it, this is what it looks like. It boots up into this version of Minecraft through which we teach kids. So <clears throat> we've developed our own version of Minecraft. And it comes with a storyline, there's levels, and every single level actually shows you how to build physical electronics. So you start with nothing on the Raspberry Pi, and as you progress through the game, you build up your controls, you build up lights, and sensors, and buzzers, and you build a whole control panel of hardware that allows you to play the game in a unique, interesting way. So that's, there's about 10 to 15 hours of, of content through Minecraft, and you can see every single level actually has an animation and a storyline. We learned that for girls, it was especially important for us to have some kind of narrative or storyline for girls to get emotionally engaged with the characters. So there's a free version of Minecraft that comes on every Raspberry Pi. Okay. And it has a way that you can program it. And we don't, so you need no subscriptions, no That's right. need for any of that. Comes, yeah, everything comes on it, and then, you know, that first level was actually showing you, it was explaining to you how to use a mouse. And most kids, they're so used to the touchscreen, they never actually use the mouse. So, that video explains here's how you move around, here's how so you So that, walk. and that, that's very responsive, and... Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's, how much memory is on that board? Um, I don't remember what the latest one has, but there, you know, this is running a 3D, like, fully responsive immersive, it's like, over 30 frames a second on the, you know, on the, on, on the video here, and... Watch this part, it's really interesting. The mouse jumps inside the robot to repair him, and inside of him he actually has this cartoon version of the Raspberry Pi. So it looks just like the one you have right in front of you here. Oh, so meta. And then, to make it really clear, we actually pull it through a digitizer, and there's the real thing. And it shows you, here's how you add these two wires. You gotta add two wires first. So it says, here, add these two wires. And here, why don't I hold the camera? Okay, while, uh, all right. While you just go ahead and, uh, got a warrant here. And, um, Seeing a product I saw a long time ago. And so it tells you here, you know, you add these two wires to the fifth and sixth. Let's see if Warren can do it. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. All right, now just tap them together. And then I put it on my tongue. Oh, you can put them on your tongue too. Don't no, go for it. Do it. You really? Do tap it them together? You can do it to put it on your tongue too, but yeah. Tap them together and you start moving. When you let go, you stop. You see that? Holy cow, yeah. When you touch it, you move. And then you have your mouse to sort of, you know, steer you. Give you so, back. So let's keep. Uh, and keep, I could use my tongue? You can use your tongue. Try it. Try it. Try it with your tongue. Absolutely go for it. You gotta do it. I learned never to trust people from Princeton. <laughs> you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Do it on your tongue. <laughs> no, you didn't do anything? I have no capacitive <laughs> power. No, uh, yeah, no, it's not conductive. It tastes kind of sweet, though. It's good. <laughs> you can take it home. <laughs> You're you going to want to wash these, by the way. <laughs> I'm 90% cured of all diseases. And um, and this is the first time you can stop right at the top. This is the first time kids touch the hardware and they realize, wow, holding these two wires together is actually how you make something work. Yeah. Closing a loop, closing a circuit. That's the fundamental basics. And then, you know, the next piece is, you know, closing wires. And holding wires is cool. But you actually want to build a button. So you click this crafting table. And when you click crafting table, it's the, you know, the mouse jumping inside of you again. And what the mouse is going to show you how to do is how do you actually build a button? So you take a real, a real red button there. And... Um, the and, real red button. Yeah. So we actually we have it right here. So, okay. And, and you can see the schematic. This, this is the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. There are the wires. Wires are right there. And if you look down, you got this wooden control panel. Right, which is which is this, and we would stick a red button on it in the second slot, 
I mean, you'd add those two wires to the top of it. So go ahead and do that. Yeah, everything's with this one sphere. Does it matter which? Let's find out. I don't know. It's, it's you know, it kind of shows you kind of oh, work. Oh, it does, so, okay. Oops. I'm gonna stick it there. They, it, I do have to say, I like the feel of the way these wires go in the pins. They all seem to be like pretty Let's legit. Press the button. Oh, you're moving. Look at that, you just built a button to move. High five. And kids understand, oh, that's how a button works. Single level, you're building. You're building hardware, so every single level allows you to build different hardware this is a beautiful expansions. Plan. And then you can actually code them. So you go onto our, there's kind of another module where you can actually learn coding through projects. So here, there's some code running and it's blinking a light. And there's a tutorial right there, you see some video showing you how to drag, drop blocks, how to hook up the hardware, and you can actually build games. And there's a whole kind of set of, uh, projects and experiments that we can do. Well, you've come a long way, my friends, to, to become a finalist and for we're, the... We're a finalist for, yeah, for Toy of the Year. Yeah. There it yeah. is. And I knew it, I knew you back when you were just knee high over us. I know, that was, that was, yeah, those were the days. Those were the days. Congratulations. So, um, if you wanted to buy one of these... You buy one of these on playpiper.com or on Amazon. And, um, and the cost for the box the is? The cost is $2.99. We're actually having a discount on Amazon, so you can get one today for, I believe it's $2.50. $50 okay. off. That's Toy Fair discount. If you go on Amazon.com, just type in Piper Computer Kit. Piper Computer Kit. And you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of stuff with it, and it's a whole fully working computer. You can exit out of these apps that we've made, and you can actually use it to serve the internet, do Word, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever you want. All right, well, thank you very much. Yes. Good seeing you.